I am here tonight live in the OCW office with Chuck the Truck Morris. You know it. You know it. Hey guys, got a few announcements. Want to go over some stuff real quick so we can get the phone calls out there. Uh, you guys can call in, ask Chuck some questions, ask me some questions, maybe ask somebody else some questions later. You never know who could show up tonight. So uh, first off, let's get the sponsorships. We've got Bob's Hamburgers. Need a good hamburger? They're open. They're essential. It's uh, 330-253-BOBS. The Boss Man Burger. The Boss Man himself did it in seven minutes. I didn't time when I did it. But I'm going to say that I was probably within the five-minute range. Well, you know, I'm a big boy. I can eat a little bit. I've seen you eat before. I, 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 I'll i take you at your word there. Yeah. Could have been five, six. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a live something soon and do it Maybe. then. <clears throat> so Bob's Hamburger is out there on East Avenue in Akron. 330-253-BOBS. Big announcement for one of our other sponsors, Melanie Lake. They are going to be opening as planned. Uh, they have got a few people that have, they've called that are in offices and wear suits and ties. And mm -hmm. they've been given permission that they will be considered essential. And they will be able to open as planned. And one of the big things they're having, a, it's going to be at fa on Father's Day, is it's called the Alligator Pig Roast and Craft Show. So that's going to be pretty cool. An alligator. Going to cook an alligator. Pig Roast pig and roast. Craft Show. Huh? They're going to be a craft show. I don't know if that means craft beer. That could be craft a... shows where they make maybe masks. You, 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 you know? can craft anything you want. You never know. You never know. So check it out, guys. That's over at the Melanie Lake page, Facebook page. You can check it out there. If you're looking for season passes, MelanieLakeInc.com. Get those. I uh, want to give a shout out to one of our OCW fans, Bobby Byron. Bobby Byron. Yeah. I think he made he made a guy for you yeah. on 2K20, WWE yeah. 2K20. Made one of, of, of Robbie Starr I saw, mm -hmm. Lord Thomas the Brute. He even made an action figure of your yes, own he did. general manager. That was cool, right? Yeah. Was, you know, I I think I'm a little a little jealous of the action figure. I would be. That, there's, I would I be. Feel like there's a little bit more work that goes into that. I was one. showing everybody. I saved it to my phone. I'm like, look, I got my own action figure mm -hmm. because I'm the cool guy now. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. I get to be a cool guy for a minute. So that was cool. So Bobby, thank you, man. Yes, thank that's you. awesome. Keep it up. Uh, all the OCW uh, superstars love it. So, and we'll hope to see you soon. Um, let's go over some of the matches for Tradition 17 because it will happen, and hopefully sooner than later. Uh, yeah. We've got the triple tag team match. Mm-hmm. Six-man tag? The six-man tag, yeah. Six-man tag. I don't know why I keep saying triple. Ah, uh, because there's three people on each team. Nah, that might be it, but it's a six-man tag. And so far, it's the Hauntourage. That's the yeah. professional Brandon Fields. The uh, Sherbet, Asher Knox. And that Kenny Cash. Yeah. And uh, the only guy so far, well, there's another guy, but since Nick likes to just keep stabbing at me, I'm going to mm -hmm. make him wait another week. Yeah. So Jared Knight is going to face them guys with Kenny Cash too. So, so Nick Khan, just for this week again, the second competitor is wait till next week. <laughs> wait till next week, and you'll call in later and tell me how I do you wrong. So can't we'll wait do that. to hear from you. Nick. That'll be awesome. Um, the big one last week that broke is the TLC match. Yeah, for the OCW Heavyweight Championship, and that's going to be. The challenger, no shame, Jimmy Shane, against the guiding light, Matt Taylor. Yep. And guys, man, if you watched, if you watched live last week, if you watched our uh, our show last week, Saturday, last Saturday, their cage match was, yeah. I mean, could you imagine what they're gonna do with tables, ladders, and chairs? There hasn't been a TLC match in OCW for a long time, and there's a very good reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and. Come Tradition 17, everybody's going to see why. Yeah, yeah, oh, for sure. And then, uh, so this week, this Saturday, we're going to live stream at 7 p.m. Appetite for Destruction Ooh, 2017. Nice. That's a good show. So that'll be this Saturday, guys. So that, that's some of the big things. And then, why Chuck's here, don't forget, we've got the last man standing match for the yes. Ohio Heritage Championship will be yeah. Chuck the Truck Morris. Against Jake Ely, the Thunderbird. You know, it, it it's a little bittersweet to hear that right now because it's April 22nd right now. I should be sitting here with the Ohio Heritage Championship around my waist. Sitting right here on the table 
proudly displaying it for everyone to see. Right. But it's, it's coming. It's coming. It's got to wait just a little bit longer. Right. Right. And, and that's you know that's that's the stinky part for all of us, right? Mm-hmm. It, it's the waiting game. But you get to prep a little longer. Yeah. I'm sure Jake's prepping. Uh, oh, he's prepping. He sends me messages all the time just to sure make sure that I'm still. Sure he does. Still ready to go. Sure yeah, but before we went live, guys, uh, me and Chuck were actually talking. The last show that we had was Love and Thunder. Mm-hmm. And uh, February is a long time ago. A long time ago, right? So I, I know everybody. I know we're we're itching to mm-hmm. get back and, and put on a show for you guys. I'm sure the fans themselves are are uh, losing their minds at home. So uh, if you guys want to call in, the numbers changed tonight. The number is six one four. 368-8881. Give us a call. Mm-hmm. Phone lines are open. And uh, you guys can ask us anything. We can talk about anything. Yep. We, you guys have about an hour where we can just talk. Definitely uh, we had a guy last there. week, he uh, fooled Nelson to win a state championship. Yeah, he fought Horace Gracie. Horace Gracie. And when I asked him if he won, he said, what do I think? <laughs> yeah. You had to ask. You never know. He might have yeah. got lucky, right? You know, you never know. We had a f- fan named Tom. Mm-hmm. That's a, just a wrestling fan in Ohio, and he's been to a lot of Ohio shows, and uh, he's can't wait for tradition. Yeah. So that was huge. Um, we're we're really just, we're excited to talk wrestling with anybody right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're, we we miss we miss all of you guys so much right now. I just I that's part of the reason why I was so excited to come here today because yeah. I I I get to feel like Chuck the Truck again just for just for like an hour or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, I, I get to look at my phone at the action figure, and mm-hmm. then I'm the general manager of Lane all the time. So yeah. it's cool. <laughs> it it kind of puts a smile on your face. Yeah, right? you, I mean, you got you got to you got to do your work to get us back, get us back going. Have and I'm again. trying, I'm trying. You know, if I could put us out in a cornfield <laughs> with nobody around and do a show, I'd do it right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because uh, trust me, I, I miss it just as much as probably the fans do. Yeah, I, I'm one of the fans. So, oh, hey, we've got a call. Oh, here we go. Number we've got one. a call. Guess who this is. Hey, you're calling the OCW hotline. Uh, yeah, I'm calling in to talk to Jeff. This is Crazy Granny. Crazy oh, Granny. Oh, Crazy Granny, how you doing? Oh, my husband's in the hospital right now. Oh, that, I, I'm really sorry to hear that. Hopefully he's doing okay. Well, uh, Crazy Granny, the best way I can answer that is, is he, it was kind of a circumstance, right? I mean, I don't, I don't know. He's never officially said that it was on purpose. He didn't say that it wasn't. Yeah. But he, he he claims he was aiming for me, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you, I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting for my chance to get a hold of him again too. So, when it, whenever that day comes, I, I, I promise you, me and you are, we're gonna be happy once that match is over. I tell you what, I'm gonna stick his head up his ass and then let him fart and blow his brains out. <laughs> Whoa, crazy granny, you can't get that crazy on me. Oh, yes, I can. I. I can Oh well, we know. We know if oh, anybody's seen our me. shows, we they they know you can get crazy. Uh, so don't don't get too crazy on us. Yeah, we 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 need we need you to at least stay out of jail. <laughs> hey, crazy granny! Point. I I got That's a, a message. Point. I just got a message from uh, Ripper Blackheart too. He said hello. Oh no! Oh, that's on him. <laughs> Ripper says hello. Ripper Blackheart. Oh. Yes. Oh dear God! He asked me if you ever found your keys. I don't know what he means. Oh. Well, I, he, I bought my keys. You threw my uh, my crap away. Oh. 
Oh, okay. I'll be sure to. I'm, I'm sure he's still listening, so he got the yeah. message. Well, we're glad we're glad that you're listening in, Crazy Granny, and thank you for calling. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I love you guys too. It it, it, it it's not the same not not seeing you guys every few weeks. Crazy Granny, you have a good night and listen in. Mm-hmm. I am. I'm watching. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. See you later. Man, I might have to just stick her in my corner from now on. I started she's, sweating she's, a little she, bit. She scared me. Yeah, I'm not gonna scared. lie. I don't want to make her mad now. Yeah, me neither. Like I've, I've seen what she does, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Just hearing hearing the things Beach that go through her mind. Beach bash. Remember yeah. Beach Bash? She was hitting Ripper oh, yeah. with her keys, and Ripper threw the keys. Mm-hmm. That's that's good stuff. He, he said that. What do you got up there for us, Kath? Uh, well, I'll read the last one. Okay. Uh, Agent Nick Hahn said, oh, no. someone shut that old bag up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, did, uh, Nick. And, uh, this may I be... This may be have nice. a bad feeling. Thanks for calling the OCW hotline. Ripper Blackheart, how are you? You're you're talking to Glenn. Are you there? Yeah. Ripper. Glenn. Yes. Glenn. What's up, buddy? What what? Don't be telling Grandma I'm talking to her. Oh, are so you crazy. <laughs> That's the reason I haven't been. I didn't come the last year. You. It's an unsafe work environment there. You're putting me in matches. You're having crazy fans, and now you're antagonizing them. Kind of Mickey Glenn. Seriously. But Look, wait, the last time we talked, you said I was kind of like Thanos or something like that, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. I, I thought I was. You made some weird comment. Yeah, you made like a weird comment. I was kind of like impressed by it. Now, now my feelings are hurt. Look, it Ripper. It sounded to me like he was trying to like. Uh, extend an olive, gr- an olive branch to Granny yeah. for you. Like yeah. you were saying hi, like to to be nice to her. Like she, he's trying to keep you safe tr- the next time you come. I don't trust. I don't trust him with an olive branch. As soon as you turn your back, he's going to hit you with it. <laughs> well, I don't have an olive branch, so I, I think what I was trying to do is I was trying to keep the peace between you and Crazy Granny. Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to make. I'm trying to make you it easy for you. You know how you can keep the peace? Just keep her away from me. Security, you see crazy granny, you see me come out. Keep crazy granny away from me and anybody I represent. It's not that hard. Come on, Glenn. Ripper, Ripper, I'm gonna write it down right now so I make sure at the next show I got security around. Deal? Mm hmm. Oh, good. You better, because I'm not coming back if you do. I'll, I'll make sure I have it done. Yeah. Bye bye. Do it. Okay. Do it. I will. Do it. I got I'm it. Leaving. I got Later. it. Later. Goodbye. Later. Bye. Goodbye. I'm starting to realize managers don't like me. I don't know why. Managers are, they're a different breed of people. I think we got another call. Oh, yeah, I got that another call. Quick. Can't even get to the comments yet. Yeah, I don't know how you click it. Just hang it up. Try that. Is that working? Uh-oh. Oh, if I you're trying to call, you might have to call back. Have them ask, ask the question. Let me see. Dustin Stringer said, what's up, Chuck? Oh, how's it going, Dustin? Long time no see. Hope you hope you guys are doing well. And Mindy Von Guten Lion said, Chuck the Truck. Yes. Exclamation mark. Yes, ma'am. That is uh, my that's wonderful cousin right there. Lisa Biedenbach. Uh, another one of my wonderful cousins. Robert Bynum said, it's finally time for me to make Crazy Granny on 2K. <laughs> <laughs> nice, oh, nice. Oh, Crazy no. Granny on 2K. That'll be sweet. Somehow Crazy Granny will have the best stats in the game, too. Yeah. I can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Anything else on there? That's Anyone? it so far. That's all you got? Oh, Agent Nakon said my good friend Ripper. They're, they're, they're great friends. They friends. Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of them. Yeah. Hey, Nick, why don't you give us a call in? 
It, Say it, hi. It it kind of feels like like we like we've missed that so far. That might be the missed call. That might be. He's acting really weird. Maybe the phone didn't want to listen to him either. It could be. It could be. What was that? Did you get another one there? No, she was uh, asking me about some, somebody that just logged out. Oh, oh, who who we got live? Who we got yeah. watching us right now? Uh, Any of the other guys? Baker's on. Baker, hey, give man. Baker a shout out. Baker and Jimmy. Jimmy Shane's out there again. Jimmy Shane's on. I know Jimmy's got a question for Chuck. Yeah. I know Jimmy's got a question. Come on, Jimmy. Can't leave us hanging. Lisa said, we're all watching here. Lauren and Xavier say hi. Oh, nice. hi, guys. Nice. So uh, so let's go back. I want to go back to Love and Thunder a okay. little bit. And uh, so what I guess a lot of the questions I got was you – a lot of people felt like you had – you kind of had it in hand, right? Yeah. That match in hand. Mm-hmm. And then you used – Oh, uh, you're talking about January. January. Yeah, yeah, January. Would have been January. Yeah. Sorry. So, can you kind of go through what was going through your mind at that moment? Uh, you know, I, 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 after the after I picked him up, because I gave him a spine buster, I had him one, two, three, and I picked him up because I didn't feel like my job was done yet. And we got to the point in the match where I see I see the loaded boot, and it. I, I almost had had one of those flashback moments in my head sure. of like all all the trouble that just this kick has caused me over the last few months, and this little it's all it's it was all kind of represented in that weight right there. Gotcha. So when I had it, I saw it. I had it in my hand. You know, I just it it something over overcame me. I I. It's, it felt like the best justice right there was to put this right upside his head. I got you. So I did. And it just so happened that the ref was staring right, right at me when I did it. Yeah, that that, that does happen. That's a, that's, it, that's it, a, it happens in wrestling, you know. It, it I am not the first person this this has happened to, trust me. Right. It kind of sounds and and as you say it, it's, you know, I've talked to Natalie. I've mm-hmm. talked to you. When when Chuck hit her and or when Jake hit her, and, and you guys understand that I didn't do that. Yeah. The one person I think that's really still having a hard time with that's Jeremy. Yeah. The boss man. He's not understanding what I, you know, and and what I tried to explain to him at Love and Thunder was I can't control what happens in the ring. I make the matches. That's what that's what my job is. Wrestling is essentially trying to organize chaos. Right. Right, and, and right now there's a lot of chaos. You can't do that. Sure, sure. You, you can't, you can't <clears throat> bottle everything perfectly. Sure. Things are gonna flare out of control. Right, and then <clears throat> I thought that we kind of got over it. It it, ha- it happens in billion dollar companies yeah. on TV. Sure, it sure. happens every week. Sure, it's so it, it sucks that it happened in Adelie. And it does. It, it does. It still burns me up to this. And, and that's day. why I never left. I stayed right there with you. Mm-hmm. I stayed there with both of you. And yeah. I, you know, how's she doing? Is she okay? Is she, you know, talking to you, mm-hmm. she maybe wasn't exactly there, but I was, you know, how is she? Is everything okay? And I was with you guys in the back, and um, yeah, because I didn't want to see that happen either. In a way, we we know what we signed up for, sure. and not everything happens in the ring. Sure, uh, this happened to happen in the ring, but it was after the bell. Right. right. So anything can happen at any time once those lights turn on. Right. Which brings us to our next plug. You can go to OCW After the Bell and like their page as well. Like mm-hmm. that. I, I plugged like that on. That was that was an open shot there. <laughs> hey, guys, you guys can still call in 614-368-8881. Yeah, looking to hear from you guys. Speaking of Natalie, we had a question as of her uh, status. Her, her status, status. Natalie's status. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am right now going to jump out of the screen for a minute. Let Chuck talk for a second. And uh, then I'll be back. Maybe. Okay. So just talk about something. And I'm going to go check on Natalie and see how she is. Okay. I'm going to go make the phone call and see how she is. Okay. All right. Well, um, you know, I think it, it's it's hard for me to talk about Natalie's situation. Yeah, I was there in the ring, but um, 
you know what? How about how about I pass? I can pass this back over to someone else. Someone else that might be able to explain this a little, a little better for me. How how about you? You come over here. Hi. Oh. Hi guys. Look who we have. We have the former OCW Women's Champion herself, Miss mm -hmm. Natalie May. How about you tell us how you're feeling? I'm feeling all right. Still can't go to the doctor because of what's everything's going on. But, you know, I'm better about things and still got my bearings. So that's good. That's good. So you, you, you're, you're feeling pretty confident that you will be cleared once you can go to the doctor. Is yeah. What you're once I, I'm pretty confident that once I can like go into the doctor and, you know, not have the mass hysteria. Yeah. And uh, go in, I should be pretty good to go. That's good. And come back to the ring. That's great news. Which I can't I, wait for. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see you back in the ring with everybody. Me too. And you know, we'll be able to train again. I'm super excited about that. Yes. So We will have, have Spine my... Buster University open once again. Once everything calms down and this global pandemic is over and everything returns to normal. And OCW has shows again. We will be having tryouts for Spine Buster University. Whenever that is, who knows? But it will happen. Me and Natalie are there. We're there at Spine Buster University. We graduated. We help teach the new guys now. So we're looking to have as many people sign up, try out as possible. Because that's where we started. So one of these days, any anybody watching that comes to one of these tryouts, you could be in our shoes one day. You could be working yourself up the OCW ladder, up the in, independent professional wrestling ladder itself. Uh, to 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 achieve your dreams in professional wrestling, whether that be as a wrestler, as a manager, as a referee, however you want to do it and make your way through the business, Spinebuster University is the best place to get your start. Yeah, I probably well, a lot of people don't know. I actually started when I came to Spinebuster. I was doing manage. I was going to be a manager. Yeah, you were. Now I'm a wrestler. Mm -hmm. And there's not a lot of girls either. Like our first training class, you only saw one girl. Yeah. There was you, and we had another girl that, un unfortunately, things didn't work out no. for her. Um, but, and ever since, you've, you've been the only one. I've been the only girl. So I plead with people that I know yes. that this is a male-dominated business, but you can still do it. Yeah. There's me. There's everybody that you've seen me work in the ring with. You can still do it as a woman. Yeah, of course. And I, I honestly, I think as a... As a girl, you know, the, the, there's that negative perception of you guys can't do it as well as yeah. we can. And you're in there every day with all the guys holding your own. And I think that that says a lot about you and it says a lot about how far women's wrestling has come. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I really can't wait to get back into the ring in any, any way, shape, or form. That's why I'm, that's why I'm here. Um, so... <clears throat> So, uh, how about you talk to me about the kick? Kick. The kick heard. The kick heard around <laughs> the, kick the arena. Heard around, the world. around the arena. Um. Well, here. How did you? How did I? Cause, I kind of know bits and pieces because a lot of people have like told me things. Yeah. Cause, like I have no. Rec I just remember seeing Ely, and that's it. Okay, because I remember. We were we were celebrating our win. We had that that awesome win over Laura Loveless and Tyler Vox back at Love and Thunder, and um, we're in the middle of the ring. And the next thing I know, you're you kind of just pushed me out of the way, and I turned around and you're on the ground and Ely's standing over top of you. Oh. See, like I've I watched the video because I'd seen videos from everybody posting, mm -hmm. and. I was like, whoa. I was didn't expect Ely really, I thought he would stop himself. Yeah. Because I remember when I got to Spinebuster and you and Ely and stuff were there. And it was, like, we were all cool with each other. Mm -hmm. And then he just kind of didn't stop. So I don't, I don't know what's happened in the Ely's mind. The thing that got me was... He looked surprised at first. For just a split second when I looked at him, he looked surprised. And then he looked down again, and he laughed. Hmm. 
He th- he thought he thought it was funny. He thought it was funny that I don't, I don't know why if it was because whether or not he kicked you in the face or if it was because he thought it was something at me, but he that's not that's not the guy that I chose to be my tag team partner. That's not the guy I remember training with. Yeah, I I don't. I don't know how we got here, because it it, yeah. it it came so far out of left field, but either way, once Tradition 17 rolls around, it's going to be last man standing, and however that happens, there's going to be two guys that walk in the ring and only one guy's walking out. Yeah. And for you, for me, for everybody else that Jake Healy's been terrorizing over this last almost year now. I'm going to be the man that walks out. I promise that. I cannot wait to see that. I do have one person to thank, though, so we're going to get off the topic of Jake Ely. Okay. I do have one person to thank, and that is the GM, Glenn, for calling me so I could be here mm. and hang out with you and everybody on Facebook. Yeah, of course. It's a pleasure to have you. It's nice to have... It's not just to be just me and Glenn. It's... It, <clears throat> It's a little bit more of that locker room vibe with more than just one of us here, you know? Yeah. Hey, Jim Smith wants to know if we're selling shirts online. Uh, like just OCW t-shirts yeah, or... OCW, OCW or you guys. Yeah. Um, I am working on getting new t-shirts made right now. I'm getting a new design for, uh, as compared to my old one. So um, I'm kind of letting things die down. I, I do have someone to at least make the t-shirts for me. So... Uh, once once things kind of get figured out, uh, I will I will definitely post something on Facebook, Twitter, wherever on social media uh, about getting T-shirts out there. Uh, when that does happen, just send me a message and uh, I'll I'll find a way to get it to you. Uh, and uh, for for OCW T-shirts, um, you can go ahead and uh, contact Glenn Lane, uh, message him on Facebook. Um, I'm sure the OCW website may may have something, possibly, uh, but you can't. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> not a direct quote. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I am not what you would call an expert. All right. Well, I actually have to get going. Okay. So I did just finish my design for a T-shirt, but okay. Well, I actually have to get going. So I will. See you whenever yes. we come back to the real world. Yes, hopefully sooner rather than later. Yep, so and I hope to. Keith, uh, Papa Smurf, oh. says hello to both of you. Hi. Hi, Keith. Miss you, man. I miss you. So I will see everybody hopefully when we get back to life. Mm-hmm. All right. So I am going to jump All out right. of here. I hate to say goodbye. See you later. Be safe. See you. you guys, too. Um, hey, Natalie, did you see where Glenn went? No. Natalie, when'd you get here? Huh. Where'd you go? Uh, you know, I, uh, I had a thing, you know? I had uh, a thing. When did Natalie, Natalie get here? Uh, right Natalie after, May, huh? Kind of like right after you walked she away. She got an invite then. That's great. Huh. You got somebody on the line. Oh, hey, uh-huh. who's on the line? <laughs> no. I just got back. Uh, hi, Nick. I am here. Do not say hi to me like we are friends. I am here to tell you that I have saved this show for you. Hi, Nick. 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 H
See, I I remember I do remember Kenny Cash. Yelling. But I I don't really consider Gino one of your clients. He's he's not in the entourage, is he? I did he's, I go to the ring with Mr. DiCapo that day, sir? Yeah, yeah, you did. Okay, so already right now we've proven that you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah. You might be talented in the ring, sir, and I will give you that. Hmm. You are very talented in the ring. But until you get the proper representation and get your career focused, there is no chance that you'll ever defeat a very, very good friend of mine in Jake Keeley. A good human being. A man who has won humanitarian awards for being such a good person. A great friend. Never turned his back on anyone that's uh, of no or anybody that's worth a darn that I know of. Oh, wow. Uh, if, if, if that last, if that last sentence by you doesn't, doesn't give anybody else a clue about your character, then I don't think anything else will. I have a positive character, sir. Are you, are you trying to, uh, are you trying to make a claim that I'm not a good speaker? Because I have lawyers that will be all over yeah. this, Mr. They Ward. call me no And stop. I know, you don't want I know that. I can speak before, and the disgusting lot lives are that shooting out with doing out of cash to afford a lawsuit. Can we just pull up that Nick, I, 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 Nick, I think, I think everybody got off on the wrong foot. Feet. The left one or the right one, Mr. Lane? Both. Both, sir. Both. So let's just... You said you got off on the wrong foot, and now you're saying both feet. Yeah, yeah, let's so just... English is not a good thing for you either, sir. Well, sometimes you get off on the wrong foot. You gotta, you gotta take a step, right? So here, let's take the right step, and we're just gonna... I, I want... Yeah, I'm kind of dragging my feet like Ohio is with opening up stuff. So, <clears throat> I think it. Isn't it kind of the same thing that Han Taraj? It's yeah. the Han Taraj. I just want people to understand that I'm saying the Han Taraj. I I think we I think we need to let Nick understand. Nick, that. where are you? Where are you right now? What what trip are you on now? I am in St. Lucia with butlers serving me drinks, with lovely women just dying to come up to me. I got Mr. Cash. I got Mr. Field. I got Mr. Knox. I might have a few other clients that you people don't have the privilege of knowing. All sitting here right now, enjoying the sweet life, while you guys are trapped inside your homes with whoever you guys associate with, and here we are living the sweet life. Hey, uh, by the way, do you have any NFL players with you that might be going into the draft tomorrow? You ask too many questions, Mr. Lane. That's kind of what I'm here for for right now. Is uh. Yes, sir. Okay, the guy who knows too much is the one that gets whacked, okay? So I'm trying to do you a favor by not letting you know too much. And honestly, by listening to you talk, there's not a whole lot that you know right now. So should I... So is this the part where I say I should call my lawyers to have them call you because I felt threatened? Yeah. Like a guy that looks like you has lawyers on retainer. <laughs> I've had enough of this conversation. It like he doesn't Chuck, have anybody. you're in big trouble with Ely. Lane, I better find out next week who we're facing. Oh, are you okay? Are you still Nick? there? Nick? Nick? Yeah. I think he's gone. Well, Nick, Nick, if it makes you feel any better, <clears throat> Glenn, Glenn button, showed please. me the list. Glenn showed me the list of the other team besides Jared Knight, and <laughs> let me tell you, you're, you're going to like it. Yeah, see, I, I'm a nice guy. Yeah. I, I don't understand why he gets so upset if he would just yeah. stay not so upset. I think it's fun. I you know, you, some, sometimes for the fans, you gotta you got to drag it out. And he wasn't real nice about Natalie either. I'm glad you no. came back. Yeah, I heard I heard my name. Yeah. So I was like, why is my... What did I do this time? <laughs> kind of one of those instances. Right. I don't know what you've ever had to do with Nick Hahn. No. <clears throat> oh, it, it went off. I still don't consider Gino part of the Hunter Rush. No. 
No. no I, I how is it said? Show. Because I obviously say it wrong. Money can buy me a girlfriend for a night, too. Hmm. That's a very true statement. Yeah. You got any questions up there? Uh, Papa Smurf said that he's always the last man standing. That he is. That That is very true. And he also said, shut up, Nick. <laughs> I think we all That's, can agree with that. Yeah, I think we can, I, too. I want to point out something funny that Nick said. He said that he Ely has friends. Yeah. Well, he said he's friends friends with Ripper, too. The reward. The the award. He won a humanitarian award? Yeah. When? Where? I don't remember. part of the OCW awards. Yeah, I didn't remember that one coming across. I don't remember OCW humanitarian of the year. Nick just likes to yell at me, I think. So you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I think he just likes to use you to vent. Kevin, since he's on all these, like, desert islands and wherever he's at, is there any way that we can Zoom him, Skype him, anything like that? Can you can you make that happen? I, I think we can figure something out. So I'll tell you what. Next week, just so we can clear the air, everybody can see Mr. Han. Oh, boy. He'll be my special guest via Skype, Zoom, whatever we can do. We'll be in a split screen. We'll figure out a way for me to see his face, and I can see him. Mm, that sounds unfortunate. Uh, mm. But I think it's the right thing to do. If we have to. Yeah, I think we should. Let's get Nick Han on. Maybe he can he can talk a little bit about his entourage. Is that right? Okay. Hope sure. I said it right, Mr. Han. The ha- and then Han garage? Han garage? Han, Han? Back door garage? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> at this point, I don't know. He Hong yells Kong, at me too much. So. Hong Kong Fooey? Yeah, Hong Kong Fooey. Yeah. Yeah. Hong Kong Fooey. So, if you're just joining us, we kind of went over some matches and stuff like that We for Tradition 17 that will still go on. And... Uh, one of them's the uh, last man standing match between Chuck the Truck Morris and the Thunderbird Jake Ely, and that is for the Ohio Heritage Championship. Yes, sir. Uh, we've got the 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 TLC match. That's for the Ohio Champion uh, OCW uh, Heavyweight Nick Hans got Championship. Me scared. Nick Hans got me nervous. I'm afraid lawyers are going to call me all night again tonight, and I won't get no sleep. Yeah, it's, it's better than lawyers. It's, I'd rather it be lawyers than uh, the head of a horse in your bed. That's true. Because he was talking about mafia, mafia stuff. Movies. Right. Yeah. So the OCW Heavyweight Championship will be on the line with uh, No Shame Jimmy Shane and the Guiding Light Matt Taylor in a TLC match. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's big. And the newest match. I've been waiting for this, and I've been waiting until we had a good crowd. Will be... The teacher, the show, Robbie Starr, against the student, Lord Thomas the Brute. Ooh. It's a spine buster it's history. Another one. It's another one. This is, this is part two. Part two. Mm-hmm. So that's one of the big ones. And then the entourage. Yeah. And Jared Knight has been the first contestant. Well, I have, I have two other ones. Yeah. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. So, guys. So I'm kind of pumped about this. Robbie calls me up. Robbie says, you know what? The last couple shows, Lord Thomas has been, somehow or another, he's scaring fans. He's 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 going after Robbie. Robbie said, I'm tired of it. He's going after the other. I already beat him good. once, so let me just do it again. Mm-hmm. I want the match. Robbie, you got the match. So the show, Robbie Starr against Lord Thomas the Brute. It's the mm-hmm. teacher versus the student, two. That'll be a good one. Yeah, that'll, that'll be good. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, anything else you guys want to talk about? Anything that you guys been doing training wise? You been doing anything outside the ordinary? You know, I, it, it's it's even hard to to, to to train right now. Like, yeah, I, it, it's just like a what whatever little home workouts you can do sure. and trying not to sure. eat as eat terribly. Sure, that's where I'm sure. struggling. Yeah, that's, I. There, there's just so much junk food in my house because I'm so used to going and training every time right. and mm-hmm. doing different stuff, not in stuck in my house. True. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> it's good times. Any questions? We got anything going um, on? Yeah. Here Robert, we go. Action. Robert wants to know if he puts the last man standing match in the 2K, who do you think will win? Chuck the Truck or Thunderbird? Me. It doesn't matter if it's real or if it's on a video game. I'm better. I'm, I'm going to go with Chuck. I'm in. Come tradition seventeen, I'm gonna prove it. I th- I honestly I think his problem is that Ely's been jealous. 
because when you look at Spinebuster University, when you look at the students that have come out of Spinebuster University, I, I don't mean to sound cocky when I say this, but most people think me. Because I, I was the guy that won the, 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 the triple threat match between between the original class. I, I'm, I'm the guy that I've heard people say, like, uh, that this is the guy that can do it out of this little group. And I think that's always kind of drove him nuts. And I chose him to be along with me. So he never had that chance to try and be the guy of Spinebus University. And, you know, that, that's, that's, that's where this all started for all of us. And he wants to be everything now he wants to be ocw he wants to be spinebuster university he wants to be everything and he is on a scorched earth kind of plan to do it he will burn any, any bridge that he can to be at the top and he i i you can kind of see where where maybe where he's been learning if 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 you look if you look at the guys around ocw because it's not the first time things things like this have happened. Maybe not with him, but with it, it's just part of wrestling history. People, people don't always get along. People always want to be the best, and I think it's time I put Jake Ely in his place. Any and if that, if that if that if that if that happens to be as a stain on the bottom of my boot, then so be it. Any chance we'll see Jake in here? <clears throat> Any chance? Well, you know, Jake Ely only answers to whoever he answers to. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't really talked to Jake. Uh, That's probably good. Probably. But you never know. Jake could just pop up anytime he wants, really. You know, if anybody's been to an OCW show, Jake doesn't have a problem making a scene. So you never know. You never know. Like I said, scorched earth. <laughs> right. You never know. So is that all we got? Uh, question for Natalie. Do you hope to soon get another shot at the women's title? I do once I get cleared and, you know, I get a chance. I just kind of want to come back for a little bit and get back to training and then go after what <laughs> should be mine. But, you know, that day I just, against Megan, I just went in a little too arrogant. I won't make that mistake again. I won't. Good. Good. Uh, so, uh,. <clears throat> Been on here for almost an hour? Is it almost an hour? No. Oh, Agent Nikon said, I'm interested in sitting down with you, Mr. Lane. Awesome. That was the first <clears throat> compliment that I think I've ever got from him. No, that was very civil. Yeah, that that yeah. was this could be good next week. But at the same time, I'd watch it back. <laughs> well yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so next week, guys, the agent Nikon will be Skyping, zooming, booming. FaceTiming something. something, and he will be my guest next week on uh, OCW Live. Uh, he said he's a civil person. He's a civil person. Well, good, because it didn't seem like that on the phone call. Right? No. It's been all the yelling. I mean. Yeah. Maybe he just, maybe he said he had a personal butler, and maybe there was too many drinks. I, mean, I feel like know. he's just an angry person. Split personality? Maybe. That could be it. That could be it. So, with that being said, guys. We thank you for tuning in tonight. We will see you next Wednesday at 6.30 with our special guest, Nick Hahn. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you next Wednesday at 6.30. Bye. See you guys later. Bye.